Welcome back, you mad geriatric modelers. I believe this is episode two of the quarter scale camel build uh, on the cockpit. We're going to focus in on the uh, fuel gauge to the left of center inside the cockpit on this photo. Okay, here is the completed fuel gauge. Uh, you notice some discoloration in the glass tube itself. That is clear yellow Tamiya paint to simulate fuel in the gauge. Okay, these are the different parts of the fuel gauge. A lot of it was fabricated out of sheet brass, brass tubing, or brass round stock that I turned on my lathe and milled out on my mill with an indexer. Uh, the gray pieces are plastic sprue from a model airplane kit. A plastic model kit. The glass is actually a piece of clear plastic that uh, fits inside of a piece of brass tube that's been milled out so that you can see the fuel level. Uh, in the next photo I will show you how I milled that brass tube without destroying it. Okay a piece of aluminum round stock was slid down inside the piece of brass tube to give it support during the milling process so that you don't destroy the brass tube. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, a lot of my hexagonal uh, stuff here was either made from hex brass stock or round brass stock on my lathe and then turned into a hex on a rotary fixture. Now, on the right-hand side of this picture, you can see the fuel shutoff valve uh, being compared to a picture from a book that shows the actual valve in the full-size airplane's cockpit. Okay, next we move on to the fuel tank selector valve that is located on the left-hand side by the seat. Now, on the left part of this picture, you can see my valve compared to the photograph of a valve in a full-size camel. The right part of this picture is uh, a close-up of my valve. Now, the hex hexagon bolts on this were obtained through a company called Microfasteners. I highly recommend them. They make some really cool small stock. The rest of this valve was all custom-made, uh, all scratch-built. Okay, the lettering on the throttle scale and the fuel selector valve was all done through a program called Fusion 360 and engraved on my desktop CNC mill. It's a tag mill. That they're about $2,500, so not everybody has access to this, but I'm sure you could find somebody that could do this for you. Uh, the lettering, since it was engraved later on, I put in some... Uh, paint, some black paint or red paint, wherever it needed, just filled it and then wiped the top off of it to get the lettering to stand out. Okay, here you see my desktop tag CNC mill doing the engraving on the throttle scale. Okay, here you see my... Okay, this little part is the fuel regulator valve. It acted like a variable needle valve because on the throttle, the pilot actually had to adjust the air on one part of the throttle and the fuel on the other. So he's the one that set the fuel to air ratio and this valve set the fuel flow into the air box of the engine since the engine really did not have a carburetor. Okay, so here's what we have so far. We have the fuel tank selector valve on the left. In the middle is the fuel control valve itself. And then on the right part of the picture is the throttle quadrant. Next, I'll show you how I made the fuel filter and plumbing. Okay, these are the parts to the fuel filter system that will be added onto the fuel control assembly before it's mounted in the cockpit. Okay, so I've got uh, my throttle and fuel control set up and finished and ready to be installed in my quarter scale camel. To explain, this selector switch here selects either 
the pressurized tank or the gravity fed tank. The pressurized tank lasted for three hours. The gravity was three quarters of an hour. Um, the fuel flow is adjusted here through the valve underneath that adjusted the fuel to the engine. This adjusted the airflow to the engine. And the plumbing comes in through the valve. If I can get my finger in there. Comes through the valve over here to this fuel filter, back around and over, under and over to the fuel control valve. So I hope that kind of clears some things up. Anyway, this is finished now and ready to be put into my camel. Okay, here is the completed fuel control assembly with the, the fuel tank level indicator, the, the fuel tank switch, control valve for the fuel flow, the throttle quadrant, the fuel shutoff valve, and on the back side is the fuel filter. Now, the copper tubing in this is not actual tubing. It is copper wire. I chose copper wire because it won't crush while I bend it into those tight little curves. A little bit of extra weight on this plane I don't care about because it's got such a large wing area, it will handle it. Also, these parts are almost right on the center of gravity, so it really doesn't matter. All right, tune in next time for, I believe it would be episode three, on the few, the uh, camel cockpit build and please like and subscribe